Welcome to another video. This is a question from Denmark, I think 2006. The mission is to find all triples or all triplets x, y, and z such that x plus y equals 2 and x, y minus z squared is equal to 1. Now, because this is a competition problem, it might not be as easy as you think, but just by inspection, my favorite method of solving problems, I can assume that x equals 1 and z equals 1, so that 1 plus 1 equals 2, and I come try it out here. If x is 1 and y is 1, I can have 1 times 1 equals 1. So 1 minus z squared equals 1. That means z squared must be 0 if I have 1 on both sides. So that means z is 0. So I already found one set, x equals 1, y equals 1, and z equals 0. That's true, because I'm looking for all real triplets. Now, is that the only answer? I don't know. And definitely, if I can get the answer just by guessing, then it's not really a big problem. But I know there's more to do. So, let's get into the video. So like I did in the intro, we already found one set of solutions. So, by inspection, one, one, zero is a triplet solution. Is this the only solution? Well, we have to figure that out. Is there another solution we have to find out? So, what can we do? Now, whenever you have a problem like this, you have um, a system of equations, you know, there's always this idea of what can we, how can we merge the two or how can we make one work for the other? So, based on what I see, I can isolate y from the first equation so that y equals 2 minus x. So, I can say from, so let's call this equation 1, from equation 1, we can tell that y will be equal to 2 minus x. So I can substitute that in this second equation so that xy minus z squared equals 1 implies x times, instead of y, I'm going to write 2 minus x minus z squared equals 1. Then if I distribute this, let's write it here, I'm going to have 2x minus x squared minus z squared equals 1. Now, whenever you have squares somewhere and you're talking about real numbers, remember the square of a real number must be positive. Okay, so I'm going to try and create a situation where the square, I'm going to have a bunch of squares and I want it to be real. Maybe I should make it quadratic because already I can see... It. Okay, let's solve a quadratic equation. So I, we have, if I move everything to one side, let's move everything to this side. So I'm going to have x squared minus 2x plus 1, plus z squared equals 0. It looks like that's correct. So what we're going to do is we're going to treat this as our c. So we have x using the quadratic formula equals minus b, which is going to be 2, plus or minus square root of b squared is going to be 4, minus 4ac. So it's going to be 4 minus... 4ac is going to be 4 times 1 plus z squared, all over 2. So I guess all I can do at this point is factor out 4 from in here. It's going to be equal to 2 plus or minus. If you take out square root of 4 from here, it's going to be 2. And then you have the square root 
of 1 minus 1 plus z squared, like that, um, divided by 2. Clearly, this will take these out, so you have just 1. So this will sum to um, 1 plus or minus z imaginary z. Well, again, remember z squared is positive, so minus z squared is a negative number, and we said x is supposed to be real. If x has to be real, then it cannot have any imaginary part. So this part must be zero, which means z must be zero if x is real, which implies z equals zero if x must be real. So the imaginary part will just disappear and you have x equals one. And it looks like this is the exact thing we got by inspection. So, is there anything else we can say? Is there another way? Okay. I thought about this equation again, and I thought, what if I don't solve a quadratic equation? What if I just make a claim, okay? That if I rearrange this, I bring this here and I leave how do I put it? Let's move z to the side. So let's go here. We're going to have 2x minus x squared minus 1 equals z squared. Okay. Now, if z must be a real number, the square of z must be non-negative. It is the worst it can be is 0. It cannot be a minus number. Okay. So, that means whatever we have on the left-hand side has to be zero or greater than zero, okay? So this means 2x minus x squared minus 1 must be greater than or equal to zero. And we already established the case where this is equal to zero when we solve this quadratic equation and we said for this to be zero, this has to be zero. Well, it's obvious here. If this is zero, then this is zero. And that means z is zero. And that's still the case we got by inspection. So the second option is let's assume that we're looking for it to be greater than zero. We're looking for other answers. So we're going to say that... Um, If 2x minus x squared minus 1 is greater than 0, so we're doing strictly greater than 0 because we already established the case of z being equal to 0. Okay, now we can multiply by negative 1 so that this becomes x squared um, minus 2x minus 2x plus 1 will now be less than 0. So what we have on the left has to be less than zero because I've multiplied by minus one. But this is a perfect square. Look, this is x minus one squared. Because x is a real number, one is a real number, the difference between two real numbers is real, and the square of a real number must be greater than zero. So if x is a real number, then the square of this x minus one has to be greater than or equal to zero, but we're looking for it being less than zero, which does not happen. By the way, this greater than sign changed to less than because I multiplied by minus one, and that's what you have. But this is a contradiction. If x is real, this is a contradiction. Since x is real, x minus one squared must be greater than or equal to zero. So that's the case. So it means no matter what you do, it is not possible for you to find another value of z that satisfies this equation here. z just has to be zero as long as this is what we're dealing with. So therefore, the only triplet Check mark and done.
Never stop learning. Fails to stop learning. Stop living. Bye-bye.